hello friends welcome to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is dna fingerprinting technique which is also called as dna typing in this video i am going to discuss three topics about dna fingerprinting technique first is a short introduction second steps involved in dna fingerprinting technique and third its application but before going into the details of fingerprinting technique i want you all to understand some topics first namely first principle and working of agarro gel electrophoresis and second sudden blotting technique i have already uploaded above mentioned topics on my youtube channel i have added the link of the videos in the description so please go through it it will help you to understand this topic better now let us understand dna fingerprinting technique if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads it is a useful technique for identification of individual to a fairly good extent hence it's frequently used in forensic science the principle is that no two individuals have the same fingerprints so that fingerprints left at the scene of a crime are important identification evidence in a criminal investigation similarly no two human have exactly the same genome except for monozygotic twins this has led to the development of dna fingerprinting in forensic science and in paternity maternity testing it uses the technique of dna restriction analysis and application of probe for hybridization and identification now let us understand in short procedure for dna fingerprinting dna is obtained from crime scene for example from semen sample in the case of rape victim and from the suspect blood sample dna is cut into fragments by restriction enzymes gel electrophoresis of dna from each sample and of standard is carried out sudden blot prepared from the gel filter from the blot is incubated with a radioactive dna probe which binds to the specific dna excess probe is washed away the binding pattern on the auto radiogram for each sample is the dna fingerprint now let us understand the steps involved in dna fingerprinting technique the various steps involved in this technique are first extraction digestion and loading of dna on agarro gel second electrophoresis and denaturation third sudden blotting fourth exposure to probe and hybridization and fifth auto radiography or auto radiogram now let us understand each and every step in detail first step extraction digestion and loading of dna on agarro gel dna is extracted from the cells with enzyme proteinase k and dithiothretol and further purified by phenol chloroform extraction dna is digested with several restriction enzyme that cut the dna at restriction sites flanking mini satellites to produce dna fragments the digested dna which is double stranded is loaded into the wells in agarose second step electrophoresis and denaturation after electrophoresis since double stranded dna don't undergo hybridization it has to be denatured to single stranded state soaking the gel in sodium hydroxide does it now the gel is neutralized by soaking in tris buffer third step sudden blotting the denatured dna fragments are transferred from the gel to a nitrocellulose filter by capillary action this procedure is called sudden blotting fourth step exposure to probe and hybridization the filter is now hybridized with a radioactively labeled probe by placing the filter in a tight fitting plastic bag containing minimum volume of dna probe labeled with p32 this is kept at 60 degree for 16 to 24 hours the relatively higher ionic strength of the solution promotes hybridization 
the labeled probe specifically hybridizes with mini satellite sequences present in the DNA fragment. Fifth step, autoradiography. The filter is washed stringently to remove all unbrowned probe. It is then dried and overlaid with an X-ray film for autoradiography. The exposed bands on the developed film represent the position of mini satellite sequences on the agarose shell. Now if the DNA banding pattern from the semen sample of the rape victim matches exactly the DNA banding pattern for sample from suspect, then it's an excellent evidence in the crime. This figure shows the DNA fingerprints of the child, the mother and the men suspected of being child's father. Accuracy can be enhanced by increasing the number of hybridization probes in the analysis. Now let us understand application of DNA fingerprinting technique. Application of DNA fingerprinting To establish family relations in case of disputed parentage, DNA fingerprints of the child can be compared with parents to establish a positive relationship. In forensic work to identify a suspect of murder or rape case etc. It is helpful for population and ecological genetics. To confirm cell line identity in cell line collection. It is helpful in immigration cases also. If you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of all my new uploads. Thank you.